Hello, in this video we're going to show that the Cobb-Douglas production function is a special case of the constant elasticity of substitution production function. So here is our CES production function. And what we're going to show now is that when rho goes to zero, this CES production function becomes a Cobb-Douglas production function. So the first thing we do is take the natural logs of both sides. And then following the rules of natural logs, we can take this 1 divided by rho here in the exponent and bring it down in front, or just rewrite it this way. So our next step is to see what happens to this function when rho goes to 0. The problem, however, is that when rho goes to 0, we're going to have a 0 in the numerator and a 0 in the denominator. So we get something that's indeterminate here. So just to show what I did here, so we got rho down here, goes to 0, put a 0 there. We got k raised to the power of rho, so put a 0 in for a rho. And k raised to the power of 0 is just 1, that's multiplied by a. And then likewise, L raised to the power of 0 is just 1. So in the numerator here, you have A plus 1 minus A, which is just going to simplify down to 1. And the natural log of 1 is just 0. So that's the problem. So we have a solution to this problem. We're going to use L. Hopital's rule because the numerator and the denominator both tend to 0. So L. Hapital's rule is the following. If we have a function m of x divided by n of x, and x goes to, say, a, where both the numerator and denominator go to 0, what we can do to evaluate that function is take the derivative of what's in the numerator, take the derivative of what's in the denominator, and then evaluate it as x goes to a. So just bringing back our function, you're going to evaluate it as rho goes to 0. So applying this rule to our CES production function as rho goes to 0, we're going to break the numerator and uh, denominator into these two functions. So m of rho is a numerator, and n of rho is a denominator, which is just rho taking some derivatives, so taking the derivative of what's in the denominator uh, with respect to rho is just 1. And now taking the derivative of the numerator, this m of rho function. Uh, just one thing to note here, if um, taking the derivative here of a natural log function, just showing the rule right here, we're going to take what's in brackets and move that down into the denominator. And then we're going to take the derivative of what's in brackets, and that will be left in the numerator. So just a reminder of how to take a derivative of a natural log function. So applying that, uh, taking the derivative of this function here with respect to rho in brackets, that comes down in the denominator. And then we're going to take the derivative of what's in brackets and put that into the numerator. One thing here to note, uh, in the, we're taking a derivative here of an, expon of an exponential function. So for example, just if y equals a raised to the g of x power, okay, it's like k raised to the power of rho. And we want to take the derivative with respect to rho or x here. This is the rule of taking that derivative. So you take the derivative of this g of x, that comes down in front, leaves this a to the g of x power unchanged, and then it's the natural log of a multiplied through by the natural log of a. So applying that rule, when we take the derivative of what's in brackets here, we get this following result. Derivative of rho is 1, so I don't even have to show that rewriting the function and then taking the natural log of k and then doing a similar thing here with the other term. 
So putting this together, we're going to take uh, these two derivative results, divide one by the other, as we just showed that the, the derivative of this uh, n of row function is 1, and then plugging in the derivative of this m of rho function, we get the following. Just rewriting that. And now where we have rho, just setting those rows equal to zero. So let's start with the denominator here. k raised to the power of zero is one. l raised to the power of zero is one. You're left with this result, which is just going to be one. a minus a cancels and just left with one. So we get a nice result in the denominator. In the numerator, Again, k raised to the power of 0 is 1, l raised to the power of 0 is 1, and you're left with this result. Again, that's going to be all divided by 1. M moving on, I'm just rewriting our last result here. Following the rules of natural logs, this a multiplied by the natural log of k can be written as follows. This 1 minus a times the natural log of l can be rewritten as follows. Further following the rules of natural logs, this simplifies down to the following. So this is what we got so far. And now we're going to do the following. We're going to take e and raise it to the power of the natural log of q and take e and raise it to the following on the right hand side and that will simplify down to our Cobb-Douglas production function. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.